Hey guys, welcome to Earth It. Hope all of you are safe and healthy. Along with monsoons, we would have these guests in our garden. Millipedes, centipedes and snails. We might have witnessed lots of millipedes and snails in our pots and gardens during summer as the condition outside our garden would have been extremely dry. Drawn towards the moisture, the dampness, the darkness and a place filled with organic matter, a place filled with dry fertilizers and food, this would be one of the most comfortable places for them to develop their clan. They are not harmful to humans, unlike centipedes, whose stings of bites would create allergic reactions to humans. They are very similar to earthworms, who break down the soil, but they have a faster reproduction rate, so they'll multiply soon in large numbers and start feeding on our seedlings, our baby plants, our vegetables and leaves and so on. And once they're comfortable and large in population, they'll start moving inside our homes. Feeding on organic matter, consuming on organic matter, these are the signs and presence of uh, snails and millipedes on our part. The decomposition rate of these are going to be pretty fast, but if it's going to be in a larger population, it's not so good for a garden or plants. Removing of the organic matter or mulching, which we did in the last season, should be the first step. Removing it off along with the snails and millipedes should be the first step to control them. So this way, removing off the mulch is definitely going to control them by not giving them enough food and not giving them a place to hide and not having the dampness. Since the point is not to harm these mealypeeds or centipedes, let's collect them and leave them at the base of a tree or somewhere near a park. On the other hand, drying off the top layer of soil will push them to the base of the pot and sides of the fabric bag or fabric grow bag. And to avoid this condition, the grow bags and the pots has to be placed on a stand elevated from the ground so that they they don't have a place to hide or reproduce basically at the base of the pot which has both dampness and darkness. Cinnamon, freshly ground cinnamon powder is a great way to repel insects, majorly because of its very strong smell. We can use essential oils in diluted forms. Cinnamon doubles up as a growth agent for our seedlings which stabilizes and enhances the root growth and it keeps away uh, the insects and the ants from the seedlings and the baby plants. The snails are more attracted towards these baby plants, the leaves and the stems which has more of fiber or tender stems. So in order to avoid them, we can probably place them around the stems as well. Baking soda is one of the most alkaline and common substances used as an insect repellent. It changes the pH of the soil and also the body of the worm or insect which consumes it. Having a layer of baking soda around the periphery of the pot will definitely avoid the centipedes or millipedes or snails from coming inside the pot. And this way we can definitely avoid the ones inside the pots are going to go at the base and once we are going to move the pot it's going to get dried and that way we can solve the situation in both the ways. Ash Wood ash, coconut shell ash, flower ash, paper ash, anything can be used. It is a great repellent as well. Why? Because it draws away the water. It dehydrates. So uh, what happens is when ants or insects consume them, they die out of dehydration or they do not eat it because they know that uh, ash is something that's going to dehydrate them. So they kind of move away from that place. So since we do not have a lot of um, insects or worms and the top layer of soil since we cleared them off having a layer of ash right beneath the stems will definitely avoid them to come near the stems so this way we are avoiding them from climbing through the stems and feeding up on the leaves and trees so two out of these three ingredients are great source of rooting hormone and a plant growth as well hope this video was useful meet you guys in the next video until then namaste